Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing and quick review of the Ike Air 800 Amps Peak. Uh, yeah, car jump starter it has a little bit strange name. I care. Uh, I don't know <laughs> how to pronounce that. It's uh, currently at uh, seventy, about seventy dollars. It was eighty dollars. Has a little bit come down in price. This is basically a emergency starter for your car, like a, where you can make a jump start. And yeah, there's a little bit of description. Basically, twenty thousand milliampere hours and 800 amps peak so that's the most important thing 800 amps peak that means you can charge all kind of gas uh, engines and up to 4.5 liter diesel engines so it looks like diesel engines are a little bit harder to start um, yeah so this is important usually when you have a bigger engine like especially a bigger diesel engine you need higher amps like when you have a small car like a two liter um, gas engine then you probably can buy the cheapest uh, of this starter packs maybe 500 or 600 amps and when you have a, like a six or seven liter diesel engine you need even higher maybe 1000 amps so you have always have to read that so it looks like it comes with a lot of accessories i'm not 100 percent sure but i will check this now so i bought it because i had to i i was using a jump start uh, about a month ago or so and yeah i had bought something like this already before didn't work i've already bought another thing which which you can start uh, use uh from one car to another car like from from the cigarette lighter to the other cigarette lighter uh it has been uh working once a couple of years ago and then it overheated next time i, I was using it uh, it was overheating and since then uh, it didn't work any more so i decided to buy something that hopefully will work that looks really good um yeah here you have the description of course model and capacity and whatever so that's really uh, i mean it's heavy it's about i don't know two pounds or so haven't looked and so let's see what's in there yeah it, it really looks like everything is here with all the accessories you have even you even have um yeah quite a big manual about everything so th this is really important i mean when you're using that with a cigarette lighter you can use that with cigarette lighter then it's not such um yeah not not so uh, like dangerous but even then yeah you have to be really careful because this thing is really powerful i right, take it out on one on side we have this it comes even in some kind of uh this is ki some kind of some insulation material you usually use that for computer parts it's interesting to see this is thing uh i mean you can use that to charge your mobile phones uh, it's 20,000 milliampere hours you can chain you can charge uh, uh, like an iPhone about five times or so but it doesn't fit into your pocket of course even when they show similar picture uh, yeah I wouldn't carry this around in, in a carry bag or something like that you can put it in a ch in a car I guess I don't know how uh, how it is about the heat if it's heat resistant like in the sun when it's in a car every day I don't know if this is really good I mean a battery is made for that but this is uh, lithium ion I think and I'm not sure if this is really 
um, good for that so recharge at least every three months avoid extreme temperatures so yeah this is definitely a thing which you have to be um, yeah to be careful uh, I won't leave it in a car I would store it at home or at least it has to be uh, in an insulated place in a car so then it would probably work so here you have um, yeah especially here this is the jump start thing yeah so here you have to be really careful this is the high not high voltage but this is the high amp um, like the yeah, plug so you have to be really careful the other the things are USB and yeah just I don't know what that is uh, probably this is the same you have to be also careful probably about this this is output um, yeah a lot of amps but maybe not so much out can I see that maybe I can zoom in and you can read that uh, how many amps that are 3.5 amps with 20 volts and 10 amps so yeah it's not 800 amps it's 10 amps or 3.5 amps so it's not so powerful as the other one so if, if you need 800 amps you have to use the one here so that's the reason why it's protected so yeah you have to definitely be careful with this device this is nothing to play around with children so yeah turn on the light again yeah here you have the, some information again same thing so obviously it's same thing as on amazon there are different type of outputs 5 volts that's usb 12 volts it's hmm i don't know why we need 12 volts 19 volts it's probably for jump start 12 volts maybe regular output if you um yeah want to use it like for cigarette lighters uh yeah or imitate cigarette lighter uh yeah here again we show all the outputs this this one we have seen the 800 amps two times usb this thing here is the what's that in input 12, 15 volts input and here we have a light let's check that out how i can turn it on no idea um so we have here a uh, oops sorry on that um yeah we have here the light hope you have seen that can't figure out how to turn on the light do i really have to read the instructions so, i mean here we have a button maybe we turned on the light to say so you can see um there's an indicator so we can see it's 75 percent charged maybe when we long press yeah of course yeah so yeah it seems to be pretty strong so uh that's good i mean with 20 uh thousand milliamps so uh oh it also has a flash mode so it will be if you just use the light it will uh, and the slow mode <laughs> it will be uh, yeah you can use the light for one week or so maybe half a year <laughs> I mean if it's an LED I guess it's an LED um, yeah but really you have to be careful with this one don't give it to children I mean it's so strong so uh, something to imagine um, the power which comes out here uh, has about the same strength as uh, this uh, would be enough power to power 10 average residential homes I mean not for hours or so 
Uh, I mean, even when you're using, would use this for a single home, it would only last for maybe 10 minutes or so, not, not any longer. But uh, peak uh, current output is same power as 10 resident, average residential homes used in the United States. I mean, 24 hours uh, average. So you can imagine how much power this is. Uh, it probably won't kill you, but it can really hurt you badly, especially you can, can badly uh, be badly burnt. So, what? Uh, yeah, let's go to the um, accessories. It's the most important part. Uh, so, you have a lot of things. So all these uh, things we have, I don't know where to plug these in, things we can put, oh, take them away and probably plug them here and then, hmm, yeah, I'm a little bit lost, so this is not a thing that fits. So maybe this is, so yeah, I really have to figure out, I mean, this definitely can be used to charge the battery, of course. So we have a micro USB cable and then, yeah, it gets a little bit difficult. So I have no clue what the use usage is of these things maybe there are other things for a charger or something like that this is interesting i don't know probably you can use that for cigarette lighter so maybe we can use that here i don't know i guess so 12 volt we have 12 volts here, but you have to be careful. So, yeah, I can't see that. But one of these, I remember it was 12 volts. Pro probably we can put this in and then we can use that as a cigarette lighter. If you have a device which needs a cigarette lighter and you don't want to use the one from your car, so it's actually you have a portable cigarette lighter, that's really convenient and here this is definitely for charging so there's a out there's a in i think there was a in hasn't there been an in hold on a second i was pretty sure that that was a input wow okay Okay, no, these things are 12 and 19 volts output. There is no input, but there must be, yeah, here, probably here, yeah. I remember that there was something input. Let's try to focus here, yeah, so other side. Input, 15 volts, 1 amp, so probably, so... Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. So if you want to charge that, so, okay, that's the thing. You can charge it in the car. That's good. Okay. If you're on the road, you want to charge that for whatever reason, you can use that. And this is output. This is, of course, but 12 volts output. I guess this is here. So, yeah. So we can use that as a mobile cigarette lighter. And so we can, yeah, I mean, when we want to use to char, to give a jump start, we can use, um, there are two uh, different, different type of usage. We have a lot of different type, how we can use that. First thing, of course, this is, directly to the car battery so on the other side plug this in 
into the 800 amp thing so that's here so that goes into that um, I don't try it out of course it's dangerous um, you have to be careful that you yeah what I noticed this is really short cables are really short um, I would love to have them a little bit longer but it is as it is will probably work um, do we have something to push here boost yeah there's a boost I don't know why we need boost here I expect actually just to start reverse correct and there's a boost oh it's hard to press wow I don't know uh, yeah anyway so what you have to do the only thing I really work for sure uh, no for sure is that you have to attach this to the batteries first before you attach it to the uh, I mean to the this you have to attach it to the car battery this one to the plus this one to minus I think you start with this one first and then this one but it probably doesn't matter because it's offline when you have it like this so you plug it in like this attach it to the car battery and after that only after that you plug it to the battery because when you plug it first there is already power on that and this is dangerous you have to be careful it could even uh, like produce some kind of lightning in between this is really strong um, so you have to be careful so that's for a direct jump start you can use this as an indirect jump start let's say you could use this as an output that's the 12 volt output I think that was here is that a 12 volt yes that's a 12 volt so we plug this here and we have the <clears throat> yeah we have the other equipment here which we need and uh, this is what you need to go to another car uh, or yeah I mean usually use this from car to car this is the uh, we, the thing which goes to the bad battery so this goes hold on yeah bad battery this is to the good battery okay here we have need the power from so we can we have two possibilities actually it's just in theory we actually don't use that so we could plug this in together so and then use this thing and plug it in here okay so i don't use that I have to make sure that I, <laughs> that is not wrong but I, I'm pretty sure that this will work okay so you can do that but actually it's not needed there's a more direct way you don't need that and you don't need that Oops. so that's a little bit strong so you can actually go into the car with the bad battery and plug this thing here okay and then you plug this in the cigarette lighter of the car with the bad battery so you can charge it within uh, the car it takes about I think 10 to 15 minutes or so and then the car should be ready to go if the battery is not that I mean um, it yeah it's it it usually works when it's only um, discharged like for some ever, for, for whatever reason like you left on the light or the music or whatever and the battery is still good when the battery is bad I mean if it's died after five years or so then it's probably not enough then you have to use probably the only way you can solve this issue then um, then you need this directly this to the car battery and this here okay 
then it doesn't work with with, with this thing because it, it won't charge anymore the battery can't be charged so we need really strong power which goes more or less directly into the car okay um, that's about it I hope I have covered now everything I will also add the link for this device and this so you can directly order it from the description below this is about yeah this is $70 this is about $20 with the cable you can also order that without this cable then it's only 12 bucks so if you have this and this that's enough you don't need this but of course what I recommend because you can't store this one in the car when it's hot otherwise it will die or it could explode or whatever the thing which you can always have in a car is this so it's definitely worth to uh, the seven or eight dollars more to buy not only this device but also the extension cord so there is no battery in between in in, in 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 this device as far as i know there's no battery you can turn it on there's nothing no light no nothing you, you can't charge this so there's no batteries it can't explode it can't overheat so this thing you can always carry in your car and when the battery is dead and it's not totally dead it's just on charge like you left the, the light overnight on so you can ask your neighbor uh, your neighbor maybe can pull his car close to yours and you can plug in his cigarette lighter and this in your cigarette lighter wait for le uh, leave his car on for 10 to 15 minutes and transfer some power into your battery and then it should be ready for a normal start you don't have to open the hood <clears throat> and do crazy things so yeah and now i think i have covered more or less everything it was not a live review there's just the explanation about everything um yeah unfortunately it's a little bit too much i would um love to show you everything here but it's a little bit too much maybe i'll find some basic instructions no there isn't so oh yeah that's actually not so much yeah uh, it's a lot of languages so i'm showing to you uh, if you don't want this you can fast forward to the end or whatever i'm showing you everything so if you want to see that go to the maximum resolution and use pause to see everything hope you can see everything what you need i hope it's sharp and focused so you can read everything it's also troubleshooting section probably yeah here we have specification warranty hopefully some service yeah here we have an uh, email so you can uh, like questions or service or whatever so that's it so now 25 minutes yeah it was a long time i hope you're still here and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.